Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So I hope you have read the title of the video and you guessed it right that I will be discussing today in this video the complete OOPS roadmap in 2025. How you can learn from everywhere. What are the What are the topics? Top interview questions. Kahan kahan se practice karna hai. And guess what? I would be covering with all these topics in my series. I am launching a new series, launching OOPS series in C++. And if you are in Java also, you can understood the concepts because these are language inter independent concepts. You can apply in your particular language. So whether you will know C++ or Java, any object oriented programming language, you can learn that. Okay, so let's get started with the video before if you are coming for the first time on this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we will come in with complete last placement package and around DSA, tech and AI. So do sh make sure to check out the videos. Okay, so subsequently, let's try to discuss why should you learn OOPS? Why? We have many things to learn. System design is there, AI is there, DSA is there. Bhaiya, why? Why one more thing? Why OOPS? We'll discuss why. The important question. Okay, do you know that it's heavily, heavily, heavily industry used in industry. DSA, very less. I have seen that. DSA is not much frequently used. It is used, obviously. That's why we are learning it. But the most important thing used in industry in is oops, object oriented programming. How you write classes? What are objects? Will oh, this seems overwhelming. Don't worry. We'll try to cover. In, the, in our upcoming series and videos, you don't get scared of these things and you can explain to anyone with confidence. Okay, I know everything about OOPS. You can ask me any question and you will be able to answer that, right? Okay, and this is the important and the foundations of system design. If you know, don't know that after when you become SD1 or after a fresher level, then you have start having system designing rounds if you want to switch and you have to know the system design and the basics are oops complete oops if you don't know oops you cannot learn system design that's a prerequisite for the system design that's why we have to learn oops and if you don't know again this thing very very important after dsa the most important for interviews is oops it's heavily we come in interviews as well Bossar interviews mein maine dekha hai, like they ask question around what is objects what are inheritance encapsulation four pillars Everything we will cover in this series and don't worry, it's absolutely free. Don't worry, yes. And it's a lot more coming ahead, what I will be delivering, what you can expect. So stay tuned, okay? And most important, another thing, real life problem solving. You don't know you're writing code, but how it is getting used, uh, how it is used in real life. So if I just give you an example, if you know any game you play, let's say Valorant or any Clash of Clans, let's say, so how do you know that, okay, this player is there, he need to attack or oh, maybe he need to move right move left you know that everything is implemented using oops object oriented programming language yes unit is the language but heavily oops is used there as well and there are many such real life application where oops is used so that's why you should learn that <laughs> let's quickly discuss the complete roadmap that okay what are the things you should cover in oops i specifically mentioned in c++ but the concepts are almost in java as well but i feel that okay not much resources are available in c++ so oops, that's why i'm covering this and most people know c++ by uh, like they learn ds in c++ that's why i thought okay let's try to make another course that which will incorporate more in the same language right so we'll start with classes and objects then you should know about what are data members and member functions and access modifiers, public, private, right? Then the most important thing, the constructors, heavily important, very, very important for interviews that what are default constructors, parameterized constructors, then shallow copy, deep copy. Or well, again, don't worry. We'll try to cover in man, much intuitive manner that will you will never forget in your life. Because if you are new to the channel, you don't know about it. But if you see my past videos, you know that I always make hard made easy, right? That's our motive of this channel. So that's why I will try to keep everything simple. The language would be in the English plus Hindi. We'll try to keep both. That both rakhenge. Why? Because see, interviews, you have to do two things, right? English bhi bolna padega and Hindi also. So 
I thought, okay, let's try to keep majorly in English, and then we'll try to. Thoda thoda mazak bhi karte rehenge nahi, right? I also know Hindi as well, so don't worry about that. Okay, the most important, another most important, the four pillars, heavily, heavily, heavily important: encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. What is runtime polymorphism? What is compile time polymorphism? Again, right? This abstraction, virtual functions, exceptional handling. We'll cover them all, and guess what? With more things. Oh, what can you expect then? Course, you are super excited, right? Let me just walk you through that how my course will be look like. So the amount is your support. I say, just if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe button because that motivates me to make such awesome content for you guys. I have learned through these four years of my college life that how to learn. I have struggled hard, and I thought, oh, here are the resources, and I will bring and compile the most efficient manner that you can learn. And quickly, okay. Then what I will do? Will keep. I will upload a video on a particular topic. Let's. I will go with this order only. Class objects and this. It may be. It I. I might cover one or two topics in a single lecture. That won't matter. But yeah, there will be lecture video. I will provide with you this handwritten notes like this only. And then I will also provide you detailed type notes with code examples. Will provide you that as well. So who people who don't and want to go for handwritten notes, they can go with type notes as well. It will be detailed and you can easily read them. Then what I will do? I will give you practice questions after every video. That whatever we have learned, you need to practice this. That's why I will curate every like it's a DPP right daily practice problems like that. But I will give you lecture wise LPP lecture practice problems after every every lecture. I will provide you the question and. Don't worry about it. I will provide the solution in the next video. And also, one more important thing: if you give the answer, that first five persons who give the answer by the timestamps, I will give them shout out in the next video. That okay, who have answered correctly? And one more thing: that one lucky person who gave all the answer correct in the all the lecture series and be consistent. Not we might be all, but most of it, and is might be consistent commenting very early that he can might chance. To get a chance to give a one-to-one -one mentorship of one hour, that I will explain him for his career guidance. Okay, and then I will there will be a resume session in the as well in there, and also I will cover the top interview question and MCQs for online assessment for what whatever we cover. Maybe there's no interview question related to it, then we'll cover the MCQs regarding that. That will prepare you for online assessment as well because whatever you have learned. You can learn that if you know the topic, you can directly jump to the questions. That okay, if you know, don't know that, you can come back and learn that, right? So yeah, this was it, and I want to know your suggestion. If you want something else, and you have something, expecting something else, I'm open to the suggestion. But that's what my thought process is, and I will bring this. That you don't need to go anywhere else. If you complete the series, you will master roots. That's my guarantee to you. And if you are still Watching till here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll you see in the next first lecture of the Oops playlist. Stay tuned. Bye bye.